We turn now to the stunning image south of the border in Mexico today, and it comes, of course, after those four Americans were kidnapped, two of them shot and killed. Well, today, five alleged members of a notorious cartel tied up and left in public right at the scene of the kidnapping for all to see. And authorities believe it was the cartel itself handing over those five suspects. A note left on the windshield, the cartel apologizing for the deadly attack on Americans. And late today, the bodies of those two Americans who died in the attack arriving back in the United States. ABC's Matt Rivers in Mexico City again tonight. Tonight, nearly a week after that horrific kidnapping of four Americans that left two of them dead in a Mexican border city, a notorious drug cartel is allegedly taking responsibility. In these photos from a source close to the investigation, the Gulf cartel appearing to hand over the five members they say did it. The five men found tied up near a truck with guns, ammunition, and body armor at the same spot in Matamoros where the kidnapping took place. Plus, a note on the windshield purportedly signed by the cartel references, quote, four kidnapped Americans, two of which died, adding, quote, we have decided to deliver those involved and directly responsible. The five men now in state police custody. Authorities not confirming whether these five were involved, but multiple Mexican law enforcement sources close to the investigation tell ABC News the cartel note is believed to be legitimate. Neither ABC News nor U.S. officials have been able to verify the note's authenticity. I think they're doing it to take heat off of themselves. I do think this was their intent was to sort of ease the pain as far as what pressure may be placed on the cartel as time goes on. Well, that was really something to say to witness uh, that image today. Matt Rivers back with us tonight. And Matt, this notion that the cartel itself turning over these suspects, uh, really a stark reminder of what we know from all of our reporting through the years of the power of these cartels. No question, and the Gulf Cartel is among the most powerful criminal organizations in the entire country. And if they did, in fact, turn over some of their own, knowing they would be detained by police, not worried about what those suspects would then say during interrogation, David, I think it says a lot about this group's power, both in Matamoros and beyond. Well, you would know Matt Rivers, who has reported from Mexico for years. Matt, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.